Hi friend, in this short guide, I want to talk about how to create webmail. Now you can create this webmail and use it to send unlimited bulk emails using softwares like Mailbird and AB Bulk Mailer. Now you can't use any random cPanel to do what I'm doing. I would advise you get our guide on how you create your own SMTP. With this SMTP server, you can create unlimited cPanel, unlimited mailer, and every other thing you need to create your bulk email. So in this short video, I want to show you how to generate um, webmail and you can use it to send emails on the internet that goes to inbox 95%. Let's get into our PC and see how to go about it. This is how the cPanel will look like. Remember, I'm using this just for demo. Now, cPanel that you use to send emails are different from the normal cPanel. We would have configured the sending. We would have configured the DNS so that you can use it to send bulk emails. So once we've created it, you can start creating webmail, which is email accounts we can use to send emails. Now, if you are using ordinary um, cPanel like this, you'll be limited to send like um, 1,200 or 12,000 daily from each webmail account. But from our server, you can send up to 120,000 on a daily basis. Now, when you get our bulk email server, we'll show you how you do that, what you need to do so that your server will be configured and you can be able to use it to send bulk emails. So on it now, I'll just go and create emails. This is the email that we'll use for my webmail. So with this now, I can send about 1,200 because this account is not configured for bulk emails. This is just my hosting account I'm using for Paul Jumbo. I'm not using this to send bulk emails, but I'm just using this to show you how the server looks like. Okay, so I have created an email now, which is now at pauljumbo.com. Now, all I need to do now is just to click on view so that I will see the emails I've created, the settings. So that's where I'll get the settings. So what I'll do now is I'll just click on access webmail. So under the access webmail, I will now see the configurations you can now use in your bulk email sending softwares. Now, whenever you use your web email to send email, most times, like Square Mail and Randcube, it will go to spam. So what I will do here is I will just use this email configuration settings to spam. So what I will do here is I will just use this email configuration settings and um, use it on a third-party software like Mailbird, AB Bulk Mailer, and any other bulk emailing softwares we are using. Now, I've copied the details of the email here, so I've posted it here, so that um, I'll just copy it and put it in my bulk email softwares I'm going to use. So in this video, I'm going to use Mailbird. You can actually download it for free, but they have a pro version you can use. Note, there are other more advanced softwares that will give to you if you get our bulk email server that you can use. Uh, they are far better than Mailbird and AB Bulk Mailer, okay? So here yeah, now, click on Square Mail. So in case if you want to send emails direct from your web mail, all you need to do is to configure it so I can put my name, then I'll put the reply to and all that. Then your signature is very important. It's one of the features that will make your emails goes to inbox. You can put an address. If you don't have an address, maybe you can put something like a fictitious address. Server loves it when you send an email that have address on it. It shows that you are real, you are legitimate, you are not doing something illegal. Okay? So at all time, make sure you put a an address. You understand? So if your business is actually the one you really want people to know, it's advisable you put your real address here so that server will knows that, okay, this guy is real and all that, okay? So I'll just click on below now and um, check use signature and all that. That is if you are using the webmail client to send. But because I won't be, able, I won't be using this, I'm going to use Mailbed. So in Mailbed, I can now do all these configurations and all that. So let me click on Submit. So when I click on Compose now that um, I, want to, um, I want to send email, you see that uh, my signature is there by default. So I'll just click on To and um, start sending. Okay, so this is Mailbed now. 
I've already installed it on my PC now. The advantage of using Mailbell is that um, you can use several emails, several web mail in it and send so that you'll be ending up sending bulk emails on just using one emails. Now, if you get to our server, I will show you how you configure individual IP for each email. These are the things that make your emails go to inbox. So like, for instance, now I have this account here. I think I have two here. So I'll add this new one. It will make it three so that uh, I'll just be alternating it. So I'll use one to send. Like I can use one to send 5,000. I'll use another one to send 5,000 again. So these are the things that makes your emails goes to inbox. So you are not rushing the server on like putting a, a 1 million email on the server. It will shock it. These are the things that send signals to spam bot. So from there, your emails will start going to spam. So try and go slowly and um, it's sure using this. Okay, so let me co copy the server details now. So as I'm setting it up now, so let me copy the uh, passwords that I used in creating the email. So I'll just post it here and um, um, click on continue. Now the software is going to detect your server settings. Then you just put those details that we got from our server email server and all that so don't use exchange click on this drop down and use pop 3 you can use imap 2 imap 2 is very good the delivery rate is very high i normally use imap for my server when i'm sending bulk emails so you can use it to send okay so let me copy the server details and i'll just paste just paste it then i'll put the port then the encryption too very important make sure you are using secured encryptions which is SSL or TL, TLS. These are also one of the things that makes your emails go to inbox. When you don't know all these things and you just keep saying, oh, I bought an SMTP and all my files is going to spam. So these are the little, little mistakes that people do. So once you get all these things right, your emails goes to inbox from 90% and above, unless maybe when you have dead emails and all that, okay? So let me put my SMTP port here. And um, also use encryption and I'll use um, um, SSL and TLS, okay? So I'll also click on require authentication so that the server will authenticate my emails to show that I'm real. This is from my server and all that. So you can see it has been added. Now in this mail bed, I have three email accounts, three web mail that I can use to send. You understand? So you can do up to 10 and you just be alternating it and you send. It makes your emails goes to inbox very high okay so let me use one of them now and send bulk emails so that will test everything that i've done so far okay so now let me use the new one which is now at um, pauljumbo.com so now this is just like default emails they sent to me and um i'll just go top and i'll click on compose okay now so here yeah, i'll just put one of my emails or one of the emails I want to send it to and put it. So I would advise you go as little as a thousand or less than a thousand when you are using this method so that you won't choke the server. Make sure you are sending it little by little and it's going. Now, when you get our bulk email server, we have softwares that you can use to send bulk. So you can put a million, put a million address and um, you can instruct the software to be sending it little by little per minute, per hour. So you can go outside and be playing. The software is working online. But using that, you need what we call a virtual computer called RUDP. So with it, the software will be doing its work while you are playing or doing something else elsewhere. You just only come back and get feedback, okay? So I've pasted content in my email box here now. So I'll click on BCC, then I'll paste it. Now, this software has a way of sending it individually. So that's one of the things that make it goes to inbox. So it's not sending them in bulk like that. So let me just do small email because I'm doing a test in this video and all that. So I've put some email there, then I'll click on send. Just for us to test what we've done so far, how it works and um, all that, okay? So now i have sent it you can see that it's, it's going so it's sending it little by little and all that you see no conversation in the folder which signifies that 
all the emails I've gone to, they have sent it. So for instance, this is one of the emails I sent, which is um, paul at pauljumbo.com. You can see that it gets to inbox. You can see that it's, it's, it's there in inbox now. Let me also check other emails. I think I sent to Gmail. Okay, this one also in Gmail. It also went to inbox too. Then um, this is also another Gmail account that I sent to. It also went to inbox. Then this is Outlook. Okay, this is Outlook too. It also went to inbox. Then let me check Yahoo to The Yahoo too also went to inbox. You see? So this is how I've been able to achieve over 90 to 95% when I'm sending bulk emails. Now remember to get our bulk emails.